month in review. Now I'm a little bit late filming this. I, I don't know, I've had lots of collabs to do which has been great and um, on the days that I haven't been doing that I just haven't been filming. <laughs> so, yeah. so I'm a bit late with stuff but that's okay. We're, we're, we're not too far into the month. We're only halfway to the month. So um, I'm going to do my empties first because I've got them right in front of me. So this month I finished up the Elizabeth Arden retinol ceramide capsules. So this is a three month worth bottle. So there's enough capsules in there for three months. They are pretty expensive and I have used two other of the smaller bottles. And I do really like that they, they go on, make your skin feel nice and smooth and things and they don't irritate my skin at all because it's um, a fairly mild dose and it has other things with it that help it to not irritate your skin. So I really like it but it is really expensive and um, considering we've only got half a kitchen at the moment I'm not going to repurchase just at the moment. So I'm trying to save a bit of money. And um, I've got the Body Shop Vineyard Peach Shower Gel. So this smelled really nice, I really enjoyed it. And I would buy it again but it was a limited edition scent so I can't buy that one again anyway. And I used up the Body Shop Early Harvest Raspberry Body Butter. So that was all gone. It's a really nice smell too. This one was a limited edition one to start off with but I think they've brought it into the range now because it was quite popular and it is a really nice smell. I like those fruity kind of smells. I used up a sunscreen which I have repurchased because it's my go-to sunscreen and I use it every day on my face. I used up the Body Shop Mandarin Energizing Face Mist and um, I'd, I'd repurchase that one. At the moment I'm using the Coco Calming one which I also like. I really like these sprayed on my face just before I put my foundation on as a bit of extra hydration and it seems to work really well with all of my foundations I've used so far with it. So. I would definitely repurchase that and have done. And my standard part of my skincare, this was the Proactive, the number two, the toner. Um, this one's empty and um, I didn't repurchase it because I already had something in the cupboard. My Glow Lab facial wipes. Now I only use this for you know, if I'm going to take off my eye makeup so I can do another look so I don't mess up the rest of my face or if I'm just tidying it in. But, and I really like these ones because they don't sting my eyes but I don't use them all the time because it um, doesn't matter which face facial wipe it is I find they're quite rough whatever they use in them I don't want all over my face every day so um, and these ones are biodegradable and cruelty free and things so. and I also use my proactive number three in, in there um, so Again, I don't have to repurchase because I already had some. From my project panning, I am moving out my Wet n Wild. What's it called? It hasn't got the name on it. Hang on. I've got it on my list. Let me look. My Wet n Wild Lash Matic, which is that two step one. Uh, it's, I've been using it for months now, so I'm going to move that out. I. I used one, one cheap mask, <laughs> that's all that's in there, so I used the brightening vitamin C one, so um, I did do masks but I didn't do sheet masks, <laughs> so I only used one sheet mask, as I said I was feeling poor, poor and I didn't want to buy a ton of sheet masks because um, those ones are, oh sorry, <laughs> those ones are fairly expensive and I just, I, I don't want to spend money, so I was using clay masks and peel off masks and things that I already had. I used up all my hairspray which I don't use that often because I don't do a heck of a lot with my hair most of the time but this one was a travel size one and it's all used up now so would I buy that one again? I, I would it was fine I tried I bought something else though and I'm getting rid of my Master Precise Maybelline liquid liner because last time I went to use it well, now it's, it's, it's gonna work now <laughs> last time I went to use it and I put it on my eyes it 
it was light brown there was I couldn't get any color out of it but now it's actually working <laughs> maybe maybe I won't declutter that I thought I was going to declutter that maybe I'll just store it upside down and see if it works okay so that, that's not going to be any declutter ignore that one <laughs> So up to purchases for the month of September. What did I buy this month? So I um, bought a revitalizing pine grammar peel off gel mask because um, both my girls have used this one and said it was really good and they were having buy one get one free and my daughter wanted one so I bought um, I bought something for her or a different kind and I bought this one for me. <laughs> Hers was nearly all used up and it, she, she'll use it too soon. It's fine. So, I got that, and then I also got the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Clay Cleanser and Mask. I really like this mask. It's um, It has a very kind of cooling effect, but because you can use it as a cleanser as well as a mask, it, I find it's really versatile. So if I just want to cleanse with it, I can, and it leaves your skin feeling really nice and soft, or I can stick it on and use it as a mask and let it dry and then rinse it off. And I just really like this one. So this is, I've actually, I haven't quite finished the other one, but it's getting pretty close. And um, as with everything I like, they stopped selling it in my local store. So when I saw this in the town that's further away from me, I bought it because um, I didn't know when I was going to town next and I wanted to have it on hand. And I do use that regularly, so I really like that one. I, um, I threw away a couple of sponges because they were getting a bit old and so I got a replacement for that. So I just used the OXX Makeup Blender on the recommendation of Cindy Lou Bindi. And I like these. They're like four New Zealand dollars, so they're really cheap. And I don't mind if I replace them regularly so that I can have nice fresh sponges. I do wash them out and use them over and over, but um, I don't use them to death. If I start breaking out at all or I just feel like they're getting a bit grubby and old and just don't look that great even after I've washed them then I'll throw them out and get a new one. And at that price I don't mind doing it. Now I was running out of cleanser that I use in the shower for my second cleanse and I got this one and I don't know why I got this one because I think, I think I may have made a mistake buying this one. <laughs> because what I do is I use an oil cleanser first and then I get in the shower and wash all that off and then use a second cleanse to make sure there's no oil residue in my face. It's really clean. And this one's supposed to be a nourishing balm to oil cleanser. Melts away makeup and daily grime. Super hydrating, deep cleansing. So I'm going to have to try it. It sounded interesting. But because it says it's a balm to oil, I might be like using the same kind of product. If I'm already using an oil, I might be using the same kind of product as my second cleanse, which, yeah, I, I think this will be more like a first step than a second step. So I think I made a mistake buying this one for my second step, but I'll still use it as a first step, but I'll have to try it out first. And I also got the Lash Princess False Effect Mascara in the green one because I hadn't tried the green one. I tried the purple one and that was okay. It was a bit gloopy. I had to keep thinning it down so that it, my lashes didn't all just stick together. But the green one is the one that I see lots of people saying is great. So I wanted to try this and I haven't tried it yet because it's been sitting in my um, purchased stuff waiting to do this video. And I'm using an older mascara first. <laughs> and I only got three palettes this month. So I got the Magic Spell palette and the Living Coral palette. And I got I got the Living Coral one for two reasons. I saw um, Courtney, and I've done a collab with her, and I'll, I'll link her up in the cards. And I saw her reviewing this palette and she was saying how nice it was and when I looked at it, I haven't used this one yet, I've got a video planned, but um, I haven't done it yet. So when I looked at it and I thought, oh it had um, some nice peachy colours, but it also had a bit of green and a bit of yellow and to me this is a real spring kind of colour scheme and I thought this one 
would be a good alternative to buying the Colourpop Peach Palette, Baby Got Peach Palette. So that's why I bought that one. I hadn't tried that formula and I wanted to try it. And um, and I got the Magic Spell one as well. And I, the Magic Spell one's supposed to be... I can't get it out of the stick. <laughs> there you go. It's supposed to be a dupe for one of the... I'm crying Venus. I think it's the three. And I have done a lot with this one, so I have used this one. So it's greens and browny colours and pinks, greens and pinks, which I, I like green and pink together. So. And the other one, which YouTube also made me buy, and it was Debbie Knobloch, I just about dropped it, <laughs> who um, inspired me to buy this one because she kept going on about how amazing this one is. That's the Fusion Spectrum palette, and I haven't even opened this one, so it's still sealed. Hang on a sec. Still put the filler tape on it. And I haven't tried this one yet, obviously, but I want to do a video with this one too. And I keep saying how wonderful it was. It's all mattes, so I'd probably bring in maybe my classic pack shimmers with it. And that was all I brought this empty now. So that's what I brought this month. So, um, and other months that I've done what I've brought, it's been like, oh, I did a haul and I've already seen that, so I'm not going to show that again. But this month I have, that's, that's it. There, there's been no hauls during the month, so I haven't bought anything else apart from that. So, I did pretty well, really. But I've already started on October. I ended up buying some stuff the other day, but I won't show that until I've got it. And I bought stuff for my daughter in October too, so wasn't even spending money on me. <laughs> so my favourite thing this month is actually being my strawberry shake palette from Colourpop. I've really enjoyed playing with this colour scheme and I'm wearing it today. And if you want to see a video on some other looks I did or well, how I did this look, then um, I will put that I'll put that in the cards because um, I've just actually filmed that before I filmed this one. <laughs> so that is my month in September. Do I have a tip for September? I don't think I really do have a tip for September. I always get to the end of the month and think, oh, I should write down some stuff during the month so I should remember. But um, I've just been really enjoying playing with the colour scheme of what I shopped my stash with this month. So I, I got the Strawberry Shake and the Orangey Glad and the Sweet Talk palette and been playing around with the different colours in there and I had in mind of duping the Peach palette which I did and um, I haven't put that video up yet but I have taped, I have actually taped that one and um, edited and everything. I just haven't got to put it up. So that will, that will go up very soon. And just playing with those in, you know, proving to myself I, I don't need every palette that comes out. I can do a lot of the looks without buying all the palettes. <laughs> so um, that's what I've been enjoying and really using a lot. And um, I don't have a particular... I don't think, apart from, you know, don't forget to shop your stash. <laughs> so, thank you for watching everyone, and I will see you next time.